Blessed morning to wherever you are and welcome back to another episode of Rhapsody of Realities. It is the 13th of September and our title is His Focus is Human Souls. Our opening scripture is from Matthew 18 verse 11 and it says, For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. Praise God. The most important thing to God is human souls. It is the reason Jesus came and gave his life. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. In John 3.16 He didn't come for the redemption of the mountains, hills, and beautiful vegetation of the world. These creations, while majestic and valuable to God, were not the focus of his sacrificial mission. He came to save human beings, men, women, boys and girls. His life, death and resurrection were all centered on the salvation of mankind. This act of love underscores the immense value God places on each person. We must have that in our hearts and live always with the consciousness that every human being is important to God. If you live with this understanding, it will shape your interactions, decisions and priorities. It will drive you to live purposefully knowing that according to the scriptures, there is a definite number of souls that must be won to the Lord before the rapture of the church. Therefore, evangelism becomes your heartbeat and lifestyle. Remain passionate and fervent in sharing the gospel with others. Put your time, energy and resources into it Recognize the intrinsic value of every soul and be determined to see them fulfill God's destiny for them. Pray earnestly for the salvation of souls around the world. Remember, the Bible says, God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance in 2 Peter 3 verse 9. So, In addition to fervently and radically preaching the gospel, intercede for those who haven't yet known the Lord, that the light of the glorious gospel of Christ will shine unto them for their salvation, prevailing over darkness, idolatry, and deception. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. Right now, please raise your hands and repeat this powerful prayer after me. Say, Dear Father, as your children around the world, go forth preaching the gospel today. Men's hearts are open to receive the message for their salvation. They are delivered from Satan's dominion into God's kingdom. I declare that in every nation in the earth, every resistance to the gospel is broken and the light of the glorious gospel of Christ shines brightly into the hearts of men. Women, boys and girls, for a great harvest of souls into the kingdom. In Jesus' name, Amen.
praise God. We have today three powerful scriptures to help you understand today's study even better. You can look into John 3, 16 to 17, 1 Timothy 1, 15, and 1 Timothy 2, 1 to 4. Praise God. Challenge yourself today to propagate the gospel and share this with three people in your contact list today. As you were blessed, bless them as well. We will see you again tomorrow. Keep shining for the Lord, beloved. And as always, God bless. received salvation if you've never received Christ into your heart if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about this is your moment say these words say oh Lord God I believe in Jesus Christ the Son of God I believe he died to save me I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. Rhapsody of realities Give me your life for meaning Every day My life made perfect With Rhapsody